Now, you lot have been asking us for some more hidden gems. So how about this place? We've got wood fire pizza. We've got a coffee shop over there. We've got draft beer. It's a live music venue. There's a playground over there, and they teach you survival skills all in the middle of the woods. And if that's not a gem that's hidden, I don't know what is. Whoa! You see that? Well, we're a little bit off the beaten track today. We're somewhere in between Altrincham and Hale, about to go into Woodland, which is just near the River Bolin. Now, this is a place that can't be accessed by car. They tell you routes that you can walk. Anything from a 10 minute stroll to a 5.2 kilometer trek. This is Into the Wild. How would you describe this place? Because there's lots of different things going on, but if you were to tell someone quickly what it is, what is it? A community hub, I'd say, for people to congregate and enjoy being outside. Well, listen, we've not been here long, but already I could just feel the wellness. Yeah, that's it. So people can come down, there's food, there's a little uh, pizza oven going on yeah, over yeah. there. It's wood fire? Wood fire pizza, 100%. All our wood is sourced actually from the woodland, so we, we do a bit of thinning and we split our own wood. So coffee shop over there as well, and draft lager. I know, yeah. You don't often Pretty stumble special. across draft lager in the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't know me, we've, we've only just met today, mm -hmm. but to look at me, so I'm going to be a natural survivor. Pretty, yeah, you could, you could, I think you'd be into it, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. I thought you yeah. were just going to go, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I'll take that, no, yeah, no, else. no, 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 is a birch tree. Brilliant, see? I told you you could survive in the wild. No, so I heard you say it, I heard yeah, you say it. Yeah, 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 I've messed up before, I didn't know. But anyway, so, you can see, if you sit, look closely, you can see it's like peeling skin off your sunburn. It's a bit disgusting, really. It is but, disgusting. Yeah, but it's very addictive. I mean, if you don't, if you don't go too mad on the tree, you know, you just take, you just take the little bits that are presented to you, and you don't, strip it obviously if you strip a tree down to the cambium it, it damages the tree so what Ooh, you're doing there is fine that's a good bit that's a yeah, good yeah. bit we'll gather it up together like that so go. what you usually do is gather it put it in your pocket let it dry out for half an hour how did it all start how did you become this started about four or five years ago i was just getting a bit sick of seeing kids on the phones just not in, not engaging at all yeah, so I decided to uh, start teaching bushcraft to kids. Started doing the kids' parties, but then COVID came along, completely trashed the business. Of course it did. Just, and, and I was a bit like, well, I don't know how I'm going to pay the rent. So I had an ice cream bike. Little ice cream bike. Yeah, like yeah. Absolute nightmare to pedal up the hill. <laughs> Pulled up in here and uh, sold the odd ice cream. And I thought, I think people want to be outside a bit more now. Do you know what this is called? I mean, this is called a ferro rod, ferrisium rod, all right? Okay. And it's magnesium in it, and you, you scrape along it, you get your sparks. Yes. There's many reasons why these are really handy. One, if they get wet, they still work. If you get dirt, they still work. Can't run out of gas. Can't run out of gas, exactly. And you just need a spark, and then you need your tinder. On there. So push it, put a bit of pressure on it. Pressure and drop the spark onto the wall. There we go. Holy shit, second time, <laughs> yeah. look at that. Yeah. See? Bear Grylls couldn't do that. Bear Grylls definitely no, couldn't no, do that. No, no, it'd be going to the Hilson after this. I feel like I've been a proper survivor. Yeah. Like for me, that was graft. I've just <laughs> it grafted. was, yeah, yeah. Built up a bit of an appetite though, Adam. All right, well, you might need to split some wood for the. So. I just want a wood fire pizza, yeah. yeah. Right, okay. But you want me to split some wood first? You'll have to split some wood. All right. You got a little bit. Can we can that. use that for kindling. Why? He always takes it Why away don't you from get it in the middle? It, well, I thought it was the middle. Let's crack with That'd that. be supportive. Well, look at the size of that. Look at that. It's got to go down the middle. All right. There you go. Okay. And now don't change. There yeah. we go. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> it's nice and calm at the moment, but tonight, one of the reasons we're here today is you've got a live band that's going to be playing in the yeah. background. I mean, we keep it quite civilised. I mean, it's up to about 90, about 90 odd people. So it's ticketed, you can book online for our music. It must be great for the musicians as well, to be oh, able to play good. somewhere as, as cool as this. Oh yeah, they love it, you know. They're a bit a bit confused at first. Where do we park and stuff? Oh, you, just, you have to carry your drums down the track. But, so, you know. so you do have to, if you, if you want to yeah. come here, it's a bit of a, I'm not going to say a mission, it's not that hard, no. but it's a bit of a trek, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it whittles out the people we don't want here. 
if you're not if you can't be bothered walking to us we don't want you here and then by the time you've got here you've earned yourself a pint exactly you've earned that. yourself yeah, a yeah, pizza yeah. Gino? Yeah? I'm told you're the man that's going to sort me out with some pizza. Well, I am the pizza guy. I've got you covered, my man. You got me covered? Yeah, yeah. Well, so what would you like to know about my pizzas? What have you got? What do you do? So we do a variety of ingredients. The best thing about our pizzas, is we use a beautiful sourdough yeah. um, that's risen over three days. They've, the sourdough that we use is 100 years old, so it's a starter. And the ingredients... 100 years old? Yeah. You can, you can keep sourdough going yeah, for oh, ages no, no, and you have to keep feeding years. it. The older it is, the better it tastes. The ingredients, like are gathered fresh. local? Yeah, so we have most of our ingredients gathered local. So our wild mushrooms are foraged by the owner because he's mostly the forage guy. He goes around, picks the mushrooms and then he freezes them for us. Yeah. And then I'll cook them off in the oven. So we go for highest quality ingredients. Everything from the salt to the garlic to the oregano that I put in is all high quality to make sure that the end product is top notch. It feels special just to be here. What, what about working here? It must be pretty cool. Yeah, well, you know, it's really beautiful. I mean, before this, I worked in like an office, which really sucked. You don't realize how much mental health problems people suffer with until you get somewhere where you can actually like process them and actually be in touch with yourself and start working through them. So being in the woods have, has really helped um, with my mental health. And when you get here, it feels like you can just breathe and ah, put the phone down. Taking a little bit of nature. Do you, do you get involved? Like, can you split wood? I can split wood. Mm, as well as me? No, what you did do was, was fantastic. Yeah, it was, not it? I mean, it does, take, it does take a long time to do that, so you really got a knack for it. Well, listen, I'll leave you to uh, knock up some pizza lunch, Perfect, right? yeah. Great talking to you, Gino. Thank you very much, I'll see you. Do you know what? This is pretty special. I'm sat here in the woods eating pizza that was made just over there with ingredients on it that were foraged from just over there. It doesn't get much better than this, does it? And in just a few moments, that empty stage is going to have a live band on it. All these tables are going to be full of people eating pizza, drinking beer, maybe having a bit of a dance. So do you know what? I think I'm going to hang around for a little bit longer. Here's to nature. Mm -hmm.